What is going on YouTube? It is your boy Mr. That a Baboon. We are back with the reaction video. This time we have uh sorry if I botch any of this, just saying I'm uh <coughs> hit the cord a couple times, just got out of the shower, hit the cord, uh sit down <coughs> to record. So sorry about that. About the coughing and everything. Make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, turn on post notifications if you guys are new. <laughs> Like the video, comment down below, let me know what you guys do think. So, we are reacting to the Pilgrims, America's favorite weirdo called Colonist. Okay, so, and it's animated. And it's by Drawn of History. Link will be in the description for the video. <clears throat> and link will also be in the description for his channel. So go check him out, all that good stuff. So, let's go get into this. I'm gonna get on low here because I know it's already gonna be good. So, plus I got sneeze, so I might have to mute my mic. So, heads up. <coughs> Uh, no, I don't pre-watch any of my videos. It's just, you know, I've seen a lot of his, not a lot, I should say a lot, but a few of his videos. You know, you, you guys know what I mean. So, I'm excited. Brought to you I already by know World it's really of good. So, already like when Henry VIII broke away from the Catholic Church, he basically did a little copy-paste, a little find and replace, and called it a day. Still, many, inspired by the ideas of Protestant leader John Calvin, felt that these reforms didn't go far enough. These Puritans favored a simpler, less ceremonial, more community-driven church. They also believed in predestination, meaning God has already chosen who will be saved, making good deeds nice, but not the key to salvation. Damn. Well, guess we're dead. Yep. Yeah. Wait, hey, am I going up? Oh man, you are! Wait, you were a total jerk. I know. <laughs> See you later. <laughs> All right. Just waiting for my turn. Why do I hear boss music? <laughs> Why do I now, hear boss music? Now, Puritans held hope that the Anglican Church would come to its senses, follow their teachings, and, well, purify itself. But an offshoot yeah. of this group was known as the Separatists. They felt that the Church of England was a lost cause and that they needed to, well, separate from it. This made them a pariah from okay. both Anglicans and other Puritans. How do you like that? Even among misfits, you're misfits. In places like... Bro, that was great. Amazing right there. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10 for that one. Scrooby, they began to have secret meetings to practice mm. their brand of Christianity. And since independent churches in England were illegal at the time, this led to them being fined and later arrested and once freed, realizing, oh yeah, we gotta get out of here. So in 1607, a group of separatists hatched a plan to flee to Holland, a significantly more tolerant place. Under the cover of night, the men would board a ship and pick up the women yeah. and children who were waiting at a nearby creek, but then... It's a fuzz, we gotta go. No, our women and children. I said we're leaving. No! Um. Oh. This isn't totally bad. Bro. Maybe we could just, um... Don't worry. The women and children joined them shortly after. Oh, hi, honey. Uh, hi. Uh, there you are. We're so, we're so glad you're here. I, um, we would just send hi. Settling in the Dutch town of Leiden, they were mostly free to practice their faith their way. But life in Holland wasn't completely ideal. Yes, I know there are complications living here, but... Complications? I can't even find any decent work here to feed my family. Spanish Catholics are knocking on the door to Holland. Do we want to be here for that? I could do without the Dutch ovens. Madam, do you find it harder to cook here in Holland? Those ain't the Dutch ovens I be talking about, right, Larry? And what of the <laughs> children? They're becoming so Dutch I hardly <laughs> recognize them anymore. I'll uh, you some in the water. I'm gonna put my finger in the dike. I don't understand what he's saying, and I don't think I care to. It's clear <laughs> to this congregation that our time Damn. in Holland has come to an end. That we must return to England for the sake of us and our posterity. After all, how bad can it be? Uh, oh, yeah. That bad. All right. Off to jail with you. Welcome back, turds. 
Separatist leaders like William Bradford and John Carver were left to wonder, was there, there anywhere on God's earth where they could live as Englishmen but not be persecuted by Englishmen? Hmm. Huh. That's it! For over a decade, England had been desperate to establish settlements in North America. Much of the Atlantic coast had been claimed for England by John Smith, but it's one thing to claim land and another to actually settle it. For King James, having a group that actually wanted to hey. settle in North America was <coughs> new. So you're telling me that they- My bad, I thought I was going to sneeze. Uh, if you guys are still watching, make sure you guys do like, comment, subscribe, watch, watch the full video. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Like, subscribe, go check him out, check the video out, all that good stuff. Turn on post notifications so we guys never miss a video. They're volunteering to settle at the northernmost part of the Virginia colony? Yes, your highness. And if they survive, it'll be highly lucrative for me. Yes, your highness. And if they don't survive, oh, well, less separatists to worry about. Yes, your highness. Well, you've twisted my arm. Here's your charter. Thank you, your oh, majesty. Oh, oh, no. Oh, here you go. You can have... No. Uh, <laughs> no. <laughs> oh, that, sorry about that. that, that what? Yeet. The London Company would actually hold the charter for the prospective colony since the Separatists had, like, no <coughs> money left. They also had no ship <coughs> crew, so... <coughs> Mr. Collins <coughs> mate on a ship that might suit us. Damn. I'm Christopher Jones. I'm Captain of the Mayflower. Coffin here tells me you're looking for passage to the Virginia colony. Yes, indeed. If it's a fast ship. <coughs> you never heard of the Mayflower? Should I have? It's the ship that made the Canary Island runs in less than 12 parsecs. What's the cargo? 37 separatists, 65 stranger... Give me some Han Zolo vibes. Fucking. I got some Han Zolo vibes for a second. Colonists. I don't know why, but I did. Chickens. All right, you guys have got yourself a ship. Actually, they had two ships, the Mayflower and the Speedwell. And on oh. August 5th, 1620, they set sail for America. And quickly noticed a small problem with the Speedwell. So they had to return to port for repairs, but soon they were off again, sailing into their destiny. And the speedwell started sinking again. Again? All right, everybody that wants to go to America, get on the Mayflower. Pack it in. Not to butt, gentlemen. And ladies. Were those cannons I noticed below deck? You bet they were. There's a lot out there on the open seas, what with pirates and Spanish and the Kraken. Then how can I be sure we'll be safe out and on the, the ocean? Kraken. Because I've trained using this episode's sponsor, World of Warships. World of Warships is the awesome, free-to-play yeah. naval action and strategy game <coughs> for PC. You can play as some of the most famous war vessels in history. I'm talking over 300 ships from 10 different nations. And with over 30 million players worldwide, real-time weather effects, and new ships, missions, and other updates, this is the most exhilarating naval experience you can have short of being on the high seas yourself. How do I know? Well, this used to be me. Look at that beardless freak! <laughs> And for new players, World of Warships has this exclusive hey, offer. Wow. Sign up with the link in the description and use the invite code BATTLESTATIONS2020 and you'll get 250 doubloons, 3 days premium account, 1 million credits, 1 hey. port slot, and oh yeah, the USS Charleston, a premium ship. World of Warships has been awesome enough to support Drawn of History and you can too by trying out their incredible game. Now, back to the video. Finally, on September 6, 1620, the Mayflower alone sailed out of the English port city of Plymouth and into history. And also into a metric buttload of storms. Turns out, fall in the North Atlantic was about the worst time for them to try to cross. In one particularly bad storm, it appeared that all might be lost. Oh no, the main beam of the ship is cracked. If it goes, we'll be at the bottom of the briny deep for sure. We will pray to the Lord for deliverance. Forget your praying. Phil, get over here! No, that's a lot of damage! Can you fix it? <laughs> Mm -hmm. Still, the storm had veered the ship way off course. Originally, they were supposed to settle at Governor's Island next to Manhattan. Oh, sure dodged a bullet there. 
Is that a Dutch ship on the horizon? Oh, what the fart? The Mayflower sighted land on November 9th and figured out that they were 200 miles off course, off the coast of modern day Cape Cod, Massachusetts. <clears throat> Some aboard began to wonder if their charter and responsibilities to their investors were even valid anymore. Haha, <laughs> we're free to do whatever we want. I ain't gonna let no man command me. I'm gonna keep everything I find. I'm gonna uh. hang the toilet paper under instead of over. <laughs> Enough, <laughs> we will draft an agreement, a Mayflower compact, in which we will reaffirm our loyalty to God and King James, and we will establish a civil body politic to create any laws needed for the good of the colony. The first being toilet paper will always be hung in the over position. I don't know who keeps on doing it. We're not mm. savages, people. Being in the wrong location <laughs> also meant that they had to find a new people. place to live. Enter Miles Standish, English veteran and leader of the exploration yeah. party. Oh, this shoreline looks promising. Oh Lord, Miles, there are skeletons in the water. Nonsense, they are merely the fabled tribe of skeleton warriors. Now be quiet lest you wake them from their slumber. Men, look, I found sustenance. Miles, don't you think someone buried this corn? Nonsense, that's just how corn grows in the Americas. Um. The Lord has provided us with housing. Miles, there are bones littered throughout this clearly abandoned and cursed village. Listen, William, do you want me to settle us at Roanoke? Because if you don't shut up, mm -hmm. I'm settling us at Roanoke. Good news, everyone, <laughs> we found a place to live. <laughs> So, in that late December of 1620, those separatists, no, those pilgrims, because I'm tired of saying separatists, and the adventurers they called strangers disembarked the Mayflower and stepped forth into what they would call New Plymouth. Oop, wait, hey guys, watch out, there's a rock. But life <laughs> would be rock. tough for these saints <laughs> and strangers. Watch out, guys. <laughs> there's a rock. <laughs> these rules watch out. can feel constraining, but remember... Uh, better watch out, buddy. Point. Don't want to stub your toe. That'd be bad. Out you don't in Massachusetts know. in the winter is pretty cold. Who knew? And in true colonial fashion, half of them died by springtime. The Damn. dead were buried at night in unmarked graves as not to let the local Native Americans know of the colony's dwindling population. Speaking of the Native Americans, an Indian named Somerset soon came into the village. Wow, you guys are hosed. I'll be back. And he did come back with Massasoit, leader of the Wampanoag. Jeez, you weren't kidding. They're totally hosed. Must have sewed. We have come in peace. Yeah, you got a funny way of showing it, stealing everybody's corn out of the ground. Listen, I got problems too. I got the Narragansett tribes breathing down my neck, and I could use a little extra muscle. You guys got guns? Why, yes. And we have the power of the Lord. Yeah, whatever. How's about we just come to a little agreement? You need us, and we need you. You get our back, and we get yours. Deal? And stop stealing food. You're pissing people off. <laughs> Squanto, he's from around here. He'll <coughs> you grow your own food. This was your home? Yeah, until I was kidnapped by an English explorer, brought across the ocean, and returned to find everyone dead as some kind of plague. Oh, well, uh, I'm sorry. I. Uh, oh. oh, yeah, then John Carver died. Yeah, they all kind of look Shit. like that. Anyway, let me just show you how to grow some corn. So, the soil around here... It's garbage. So what you gotta do is you gotta plant your corn and your squash and your bean seeds with dead fish. But we're not trying to grow fish. Well, that's good, because you can't grow fish, idiot. Yeah, the dead fish uh. helps the crops grow. Hey, won't the dead fish just eat the seeds? Can't we just Bruh. feed the seeds to live fish? Does this make the crops taste like fish? No, it doesn't. Would it be a problem if it did? I don't really like fish. How did I ever get kidnapped by guys like you? Somehow, mm -hmm. the colony survived Damn. the first year. And in late September or early October, the harvest was celebrated. All of Plymouth was there. Massasoit came with 90 of his men, and a number of Thanksgiving traditions were established. Plentiful yes. food, not remembering the name of the person seated next to you but being too embarrassed to ask, and 20-pound lobsters that, yes, aren't a modern tradition, but holy moly do I wish they were. Here we uh -huh. dine, what? saints and strangers, Englishmen and Americans. Our bellies are full, our kin is near, and our lands are peaceful. And good Lord willing, may it ever stay this way. Coming soon.
Hey, if we throw the corn in the ocean, will that grow fish then? I gotta no, get that video reaction. Maybe form an eight for you. You should probably just subscribe to Draw to History over here, or maybe check out this video over here. You can always play World of Warships. Hey, I think that's actually quite funny, because if I'm not mistaken, I think that's actually the video right there on uh, my right. Yeah, my right. Right there, up in the top right. That right there is actually the video that I'm going to be reacting to next. So, make sure you guys stay tuned for that. And for this video, make sure you guys do like this video. Turn on post notifications. Let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, stay safe. Watch out for each other. Positivity is key. Motivation is key. Happiness is key. I did learn some stuff, I will say. Let me know if you guys learned anything. Let me know if you guys got any... Uh, any more information that was like you know not put up in here in this video or anything like that let me know down below in the comments I will see you guys later positivity is key motivation is key happiness is key you guys watch out for one watch out for each other I'll see you guys in the next video